We're here with Evan Turner. We're going to be asking you a handful of questions, some more basketball related, some just kind of fun and silly. So as we were talking about before, you're 30, so you're one of the older guys in the in the arena right now. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's funny because I was talking to a couple of kids from Philly, so Cam, DeAndre, mm -hmm. Charlie, Taj, they were all like 10 or 11 when I got drafted to the Philadelphia 76ers. So. It really, it really puts everything into perspective. So yeah, but definitely blessed to be here. Be 30, obviously. I'll be 31 next month, mm -hmm. and uh, to be tar partaking in my 10th year in the league is something I don't take for granted. Do you kind of try to maybe instill some any any words of wisdom for for the younger guys, especially the rookies? You know? Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, I, I pick and choose. I don't. I don't try to every single second teach them something. Right. You know what I mean? Um, when it comes about, and I feel as though it's just need or any type of advice I can give, I do that just as well as people have done for me in the past. So it's nothing like I, I, every time I look at them, I'm trying to teach them how to be an adult or be a pro, right. you know? Right, right. Um, from what you've seen so far, I mean, I know it's so early, but what kind of potential do you see in this young team? I see a lot of potential. Uh, obviously, the, there's a lot of talent, you know, besides Trey, obviously, what you guys know, Collins, you know. Uh, Herder, um, I see a lot, you know, just even a little bit I saw with Cam. Um, and also just like the kid Hunter, I think Hunter's going to be an all-star for sure. And uh, I think, you know, obviously they did a great job drafting and I think this is going to be a great team sooner and later. How's the chemistry coming along when you do have so much roster turnover from, you know, last year to this year and being one of the new guys, how does, how's that coming along? I think the locker room's been pretty well. Um, I think it's a great group, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I don't think there's any egos here or anything like that. So when you break it down like that, chemistry-wise, it's everything. And I think a few times we've been on the court together, it's all been about working and, you know, complimenting each other and helping each other out. So I, I don't see any uh, areas of flaws in that, in that atmosphere early on. Did you have any, can you think back to like a welcome to the NBA moment where you were like, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Probably, actually I was here and uh, I was guarding Tracy McGrady when he played. Okay. You know, and he was, I try to say he's like 6'8", but he's like 7 feet, I felt like. Right. And he, and he posted me up like four or five straight times. And I was like, oh my, like, oh, this is a man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I was like 20 pounds lighter and I was like. Get well, knocked around. Yeah, get knocked around. I'm like, damn, OG. I'm like, what are you doing? Right. So I'm not doing anything to you. It's like, now three years ago, you would have been in trouble. Like, right. You know, right, you know right, 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 right. So I called him towards the tail end of his career. I think that and when I had to guard Manu Ginobili, he was really, really top. Right. Well, cool. Thanks for joining no us doubt. today. See Appreciate you around. It. Nice to see you. <laughs>